This is eSports, the highest level of online gaming competition. Players train for years to become the best in the world at their game of choice. I sat down with Dylan Montanay, the president of the eSports at Iowa Club, to learn more about this emerging phenomena and his club's plan to bring a space specifically designed for eSports athletes to the University of Iowa. Um, so I am the president of the eSports at Iowa Club ever since about late May of this year. Basically what my position entails is coordinating the club in general. So like, you know, the club is made up of different divisions. So I oversee all the division managers. And so we divide it um, and organize it into basically by game. You know, each game has its own division, which is headed by a different person, has its own, you know, field of operations. And I also do stuff like meet with external organizations. So like most recently we landed, um, we, we landed a partnership with Rally Cry as well as Level Next, Hawkeye Sports Facilities and a sponsorship from Coca-Cola for our um, Challenger Series at the um, LAN event for Smash. Because there's a lot of different esports in esports, right? Every video game has its own competitive playing field. So actually, actually getting a metric of how many members are in the club is kind of difficult, but I can say that at least competing on, like on competitive teams, we have about probably in the range of like 70 people enrolled in some sort of team, whether or not that's, you know, varsity or junior varsity, or, you know, in, in Valorant's case, we actually have a third team. Um, so we got lots of people enrolled on teams. We have 600 people on our Discord, but obviously that's not a very good metric because there's lots of people who aren't active in the Discord. Um, but we, we, have, we have like in-person events for like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate that regularly net like 50 people. So yeah, we've been wanting an esports um, space for quite some time. I think a couple of years ago, that was when a previous president, Chase, basically just started this vision of, hey, this is our five-year goal. In five years, we want to get our own esports facility. And, you know, he, he set some goals, he set some milestones for how we could meet that goal. Eventually, he ended up, you know, graduating and, you know, he left the club. But I think that goal really kind of remained for those of us in administration. You know, we really wanted to get that space because a lot of other campuses across the country, you know, already have that kind of support from faculty. So, you know, we wanted a space where we wouldn't have to, you know, where we can get our teams together for match days where we haven't, wouldn't have to worry about, you know, spotty internets or fire alarms going off in the dorms. You know, a place where we could actually, you know, play together for our tournament matches. I managed to sit down with one of the faculty members here at the university who was working hard to bring Dylan's goal to fruition. Yeah, my name is Jamarco Clark. I serve as the Assistant Dean of Students and Director of Leadership and Engagement. Yeah, so initially my involvement uh, came from uh, Vice President Hansen. She had received kind of a cold call email. When this came across, I was tasked with just going to see you know, what, what are the possibilities. You know? uh, I think the biggest player so far with this has been uh, USG, so student government. Uh, the USG process has been great, very seamless. Uh, you know, when I presented to the Senate that night, there are several, several in the audience. Uh, there's probably about 60 or 70 people there. And I would say over a third or over half of them uh, raised their hand when they asked who participated in esports. So it's the esports isn't 